Hi, Hiram here. Today I'm going to do something that's probably going to get me in trouble with the BioLite camp stove people, but I do it so that you don't have to. Uh, one of the things, if you've been watching my videos, you know that anytime I get a wood stove, I like to try to use other uh, burning sources inside other than wood. My favorite is using a Trangia mini burner. I use this in just about every wood stove I've gotten except this one. Unfortunately, it just doesn't fit inside. It's just a wee bit too big. The BioLite people say that you're not supposed to use liquid fuels in this thing. I guess because if you're really sloppy, it can get into the electronics. But I like to be able to use a wood stove without wood in case I'm in a situation where you get into a campsite late, it's been raining, whatever, or even in this case, being able to use this indoors to generate electricity. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use a small can of Sterno inside this and see just what I can do with that, if I can generate the electricity out of this thing. This is the 2.6 ounce 47 gram can. It's supposed to last about 45 minutes. So, so that should be handy. Now the thing is, if I just put this in, it's way too low. So what I'm going to do is put a cat food can in first to raise it up, raise the can up so that the flame is closer to the the electric probe in here. Can you see that in this light? Yeah, right here. What I have to do first is take the generator part off, put my lifting can in there, then put the sterno can in because the probe gets in the way. Put that down in there. Put the generator back on. Lower the leg into place that holds the generator. Move this over so that the can is under the probe. Let's see if I can light this with my blast match. I'm not sure. Might be just a little bit too far away. Yeah. Use my torch. Okay, that's lit. Now we'll just wait and see how long it takes for the power light to come on. Oh, I need the fan. Guess that's on. Turn on the fan. It's making the flames go around in a circle. Hopefully it'll still touch the probe. But we're now at 22 seconds. Let's see how long it takes for the light to come on and then I'll try plugging some stuff in. Okay, we're at about three minutes. It went off for some reason. I don't know if my battery's dying or if there's an automatic shutoff on this if it's not getting hot enough. Apparently, like I said, we're three minutes into this. Uh, I guess the sternos, the flame from the sterno is going around and round, but it must not be hitting the probe quite right. And after three minutes, this shut off on its own. Hmm. Let me let this go for a little longer and see what happens. Okay, here we are on 545 and the motor's turned off again, the fan. I have a feeling this just this can just isn't hot enough. Here's some video of what it looks like down in the burn chamber. Now you can see it doesn't look like the flames are really hitting the probe. So I'm going to take this as a fail. Maybe I have to lift the can up a little bit higher to put the probe right over top of the can. But I have a feeling it's just not hot enough. 
What I could do, and this will really bug the BioLite people, is try my where I refill the sternal can with perlite and use alcohol with that. I seem to get a bigger, a larger, hotter flame that way. Maybe that would be enough, but just the sternal can at this height. The uh, can that I used for lifting was about an inch and a half tall. I thought that would bring it up high enough, but apparently not. So I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions on this. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.